Begin by removing all the fasteners for the rear wheel well liner and remove the liner. Please see the link at the end of this video for additional assistance. There are two nuts and bolts sticking out from the end of the swing control arm. Do not remove these. They are for the wheel carrier, yellow arrow, and the sway bar drop link, red arrow. The shock mount is under the plastic protective piece on the arm, blue arrow. Squeeze in the four plastic tabs, red arrows, and remove the plastic cover from below. Support the arm by placing a floor jack under the wheel carrier, red arrow. The spring is still under pressure and you do not want to take any risks. You can now use an E14 socket and a 16 mm wrench to loosen and remove the nut and bolt holding the shock top to the control arm, yellow arrow. Open the trunk and remove the lower carpet and then remove the fasteners on the side panels. Please see the link at the end of this video on trunk trim removal for further assistance. Fold the trim piece back and remove the two 13 mm nuts from the top of the shock mount as indicated by the red arrows. Go back to the wheel area and compress the shock downward, red arrow, until the top of the mount clears the metal and then remove the shock from the vehicle. Installation is the reverse of removal. Try compressing the shock a few times before installing it to get the fluid moving. It makes compressing it to get it in the vehicle easier. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.